Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to configure your Gary's Mod Nitrato server. Gary's Mod will forever be a timeless classic in my eyes. There are so much to do in this sandbox game, but if you don't know how to navigate the settings in order to run a server properly, then you can only be limited to so many things, so today we're covering it. Editing the Gary's Mod server files. To get started, the first thing you want to do is head into your dashboard, of course, and the first thing you're going to do is stop the server. Once you hit the red stop button, a pop-up will appear, and double down on that stop button. Then, once the server is fully stopped, head over to the left-hand side where you see the config files button and click that. Then, here in the server.cfg file, you can add, subtract, or change any of the settings that are already there. For example, if you wanted to change host name, you could do that very easily by just replacing what was already there by default and changing it to example game server, for example. Then, when you're all done, all you need to do is hit the green save changes button down below. Gary's Mod Options This part is probably the most confusing part of this entire guide, but only because you might be a little unfamiliar. All you need to know is the difference between the different settings and how to input them. For example, on the left hand side you can see the actual setting command and a description on the right side of what each one does. For example, if you wanted to change the host name, then you just follow along with what the setting is. By default, you will only have these three in the server.cfg file, but of course, if you want to add any other ones, all you have to do is add it to the next line below. There are a number of different settings beyond just the basic ones, such as Archon settings, network settings, sandbox settings, and even more. Once you're done with this, all you have to do is start your server back up to have those changes fixed. Conclusion the easy part to all this is understanding how to put in the settings. The harder part comes when you don't know exactly what each setting does. So if you like this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell, so that way we know that you might want to see more on this topic. Until next time! Huh.